Okay, so we're going to put together a full-size Scandia, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, take you through each step, show you all the parts, so you'll know exactly how to do it. The Scandia is the best futon frame in the world, uh, and with the name like Scandia, you'd think it probably comes from like Northern Europe someplace, but actually it's designed and manufactured in upstate New York, which is ironic because other frames out there called like the Boston and Manhattan and Chelsea and Portland, they're all made in China, but I digress. Okay, let's start with the hardware. I have a bag of hardware here, and in here we've got four long bolts, two short bolts, six barrel nuts, a seven of the two inch cotter pins, and seven clevis pins to go with the cotter pins, and an Allen wrench. Continuing with the part list, we have a seat section which has five slats. We have a back section which has six slats. We have a middle leg set which has two wheels and two struts. We have a locking bar leg set which has no wheels and no struts. And we have two armrests. I'm going to start with the back section. It has six slats. We're going to put it upside down. You might not have a table to work with like I do here, but this will work on the floor too. We're going to put the leg sets on first. Grab the leg set that has the wheels and the short strut. And we're going to place this right over there. And that's how it's going to go. And give it a bit of a closer look. Now, what we want to do is we want to put this bolt through this hole here up into this part of the leg set. And we want the bolt to thread into this barrel nut here. But the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure there's no excess wood on the inside here that might get in the way. All right, so first thing we do is we take the barrel nut with the side, with the uh, flathead screwdriver out so we can manipulate it if we have to. We put that into the hole, straight up vertical. Like that. You can adjust it with your fingernail. Then we take the bolt and we put it through the hole and into this hole and then we thread it into this nut. Now it's probably going to be a little bit of a resistance at first, but once you get it so it's engaged, and you just keep turning. Do not tighten it quite yet. Do the one on the other side too. Alright, so here's a close-up view of the other strut, put the cotter pin through, close clip goes here, adjust it like that, and then tighten up the bolt. Good, one leg set in. Next, the locking bar leg set. And notice that the uh, locking bar itself mirrors this slat here, so it's in back of this leg. So we just line up the holes, this is pretty simple. With the cotter pin, do the other one. Now this cotter pin up here, or here, is going to attach a strut later. So I've turned the back section over so that the legs are facing down. Now I'm going to attach the seat. Notice the long struts attached. So we we'll turn the angle a little bit so you can see where the two are going to connect together. I have these three cotter pins and we're going to connect the three holes. Hopefully. Now this last strut connects to the leg set here in the back. So I'll just pop this off, line up the holes. All right. Put the clevis pin on, or the cotter pin, I never know which is which. Do the same on the other side. 
Okay, now we have the seat in the back put together with our three bolts, and we have the two leg sets in place. Now we're going to put the, the arms on, and how we do that is we take the seat portion, we've got this wider board here, and we're going to tilt it up straight up like this. Then we're going to put this arm on first. So to do this part, we're going to need the Allen wrench, a long bolt, a short bolt, two barrel nuts, and of course, the arms. All right, we're going to start with the short bolt, and we're going to line up the two holes in the arm with the two holes in the seat. And the first hole, we're going to put the short bolt through. There's no nut yet, we're just going to put through like that. Okay? Then we take the bolt out here that's already connected to a barrel nut. It's going to be a long bolt. We're going to replace it. I mean, it's going to be a short bolt. We're going to replace it with this long bolt. So just undo it with the Allen wrench. Try not to move the uh, barrel nut. Try to keep that in place. Now comes the short bolt. Long bolt. Through the arm. Through the hole. And into the barrel nut. Don't tighten it all the way, but tighten it a good way. Okay? Now we put the uh, short bolt and the barrel nut to the other side here. Now, let's see if I can do this so you can actually see what I'm doing. Take the barrel nut. Put it right up in here. Like that. Put that through. And then engage it. Okay? And then the other barrel nut. Once all three bolts are engaged to their barrel nuts, then tighten it all up. And there it is. We're all done. Don't forget to go to BigFoodTown.com if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.